What's up, everybody? Um, we're going to talk about uh, game one and game two of the NBA Finals between Milwaukee Bucks and the Phoenix Suns. Um, like I said, I haven't been posting most of this week, just been busy with other stuff going on, especially things that I can't say right now. Um, so, yeah, just... Ooh, excuse me. It's one of those things, like, I've been catching up with the games, but just, like, I was actually at the Pfizer Forum for game one, watching it, and I didn't go down there for game two, so I just decided to watch it at home, so I can, you know, somewhat relax, and I might be down there tomorrow for game three, so something I gotta, I think I'm gonna go there tomorrow, but... Most likely, I probably will, but in case. So, um, this is like, it was just all things like they just couldn't stop, you know, Chris Paul and Devin Booker, but like, also like that third person that's stepping up um, on game one was DeAndre Ayton. And like, he, he did okay in game, he did okay, well, good enough for game two. But it was Mikael Bridges that, you know, stepped up for game two. And as you can tell, they, you know, they lost by, if they come up, like 105 to 118. But um, the big problem is, it's like for the Bucs, it's like, it's like the horrible shooting from both Drew Holiday and Milton is like, you see in game one right here, like Milton has done good, but just look at his three point percentage, just like five for 12 and Drew Holiday is just like zero from four. And like, you're not expecting it from everybody else. Cause you know, they, they hit him, they hit him. But in the bench, you know, they got to, you know, step up too. So it's just insane. It's like PJ Tucker with seven points, one steal, three rebounds, one to two from three, uh, three to six from the field. Um, Giannis six eleven from the field with his first game back from his injury. So you know he's got to like get used to like little big stuff from like you know not playing for like almost a week. So he had 20 points, uh, one block, two steals, four assists, which he needs to work on passing more. I mean, he does need to work on that. And the rest of them just need to work on, like, passing more too, maybe except for Drew Holiday. But that's just something that Giannis needs to work on. At least he should be getting at least six or six a game or more. Um, he's also had 17 rebounds. 7 to 12 from the free throw line, 1 to 2 from 3. Uh, Brooke Lopez, 7 to 14 from the field, 3 of 5 from 3. Um, 6 rebounds, 1 block, and 17 points. Uh, Chris Middleton, like I said, like, although his shooting percentage from the field was okay, but his three point is just like horrible. It's like his own on the all switch. He had 29 points, uh, four assists, seven rebounds, five of 12, like I said, from three, uh, 12 for 26 from the field. Um, Drew Holiday didn't do that good himself, um, only had with 10 points, but he did have nine assists and seven rebounds, zero for four from three, but four of 14 from the field. They didn't play Bobby Portis enough, so he only had like five points and three rebounds. Um, and I think game two, he didn't play at all. Like I said, the the bench just really needs some work. Um, you got Ben Forrest, two of four from three, two of five from the field. Pat Connaughton, probably the closest one to having like, a, you know, a decent scoring with eight points, uh, one steal. Two or four from three, three or six from the field. But yeah, it's just crazy. Um, like the game one, like Mikael Bridges didn't do much. 
but had 14 points, two or four from three, five or 13 from the field. Craig, uh, Jay Crowder, only one point, nine rebounds. Didn't do well. Of course, DeAndre Aiden with 22 points, uh, one steal, 19 rebounds, eight or 10 from the field. Um, Devin Booker didn't have a good three-point shooting and didn't have a great, like, scoring game, but he did manage to get 27 points, three steals, six assists. One, you'll say one to eight from three and eight of 21 from the field. Chris Paul, um, 32 points, nine assists, one steal, four or seven from three point line, which is good, and 12 and 19 for the field. So it's, it's, it's mostly like he had a good field day with the Bucks. But the trouble is, it's like their bench was better than our bench which is sad. Cameron Payne with 10 points, one steal, two of five from three, uh, four or eight from the field. Cameron Johnson with 10 points as well, uh, two steals, two of four from three, three of six from the field. You know, it's, it's, it's just crazy, like, once again, game one score was 105 to 118 Phoenix. So let me try to go back and go to game two. So, okay, let's go to game two. Which was the score with that was like 108 to 118. So in the first quarter, the Bucks did pretty good. Then... After that, it was like Phoenix like led most of the, the rest of the game, but it was like the Bucks were trying to get a little bit of a comeback. But then again, they just do 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 do. It's just like I said, it was it's it was just the scoring by from almost everybody, and especially Chris Middleton. Like it was kind of sucks that you know eleven points. Like, he hasn't owned the alt switch. Like, I know I said this a long time about Brandon Jennings because he has, like, an on the alt switch. Like, one game he'll be good, then the next game he'll be bad. Then the next game after he'll be bad. Then the next game he'll be good. So, you got to have – so, the problem is, is, like, the only person that's, you know, that look like they're consistent is Giannis. Nobody else in, on that team isn't, and that's sad. So I don't, know, I don't know if, like, they need to, you know, work on their shooting, but they need to work on their shooting. But um, P.J. Tucker, seven points, uh, five rebounds, only hit one three, uh, three or five from the field. But Giannis did way better than he what he did on game one. He had four two points, three blocks, one steal, four assists. Like I said, he needs to work more on this assist. 12 rebounds, 11 to 18 from the free throw line. Um, looked like he was one of the few that was managed to get to the line. One to five from threes. Like I said, we're not expecting him to be great in the three-point line. But 15 of 22 from the field. Brooke Lopez kind of did horrible with only... 4-10 from the field, 0-2 from three, but he did have nine rebounds, two steals, and two blocks, and eight points. Chris Middleton, like I mentioned earlier, had a horrible game, 11 points, uh, two steals, had eight assists and six rebounds. So he did okay in that measure, but like his scoring, like one of six from three, uh, five of 16 from the field. Uh, although Drew Holiday didn't do like better in scoring, but he did a little bit better in points with um, 17 points, two blocks, two steals, seven assists, five rebounds, one to three from three, uh, seven or 21 from the field. Okay, the bench did, a, well, let's see, the only person that did a little bit better from the bench 
was Pat Connaughton. And, oh, Bobby Portis did play, but he didn't play long enough. So I don't get why they're not giving him that much time. I don't get it. So, like I said, 14 points from Pat Connaughton, uh, seven rebounds, four or nine from three, which is okay, and five or ten from the field, which is okay. But just like I said, the bench really needs to – like Pat Connaughton stepped up, but the rest of the bench looked like they really needed to step up. Either they go with an 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever rotation, but they got to do better. Um, and like I said, for game two, like Mikhail Bridges um, stepped up. Although DeAndre Aiden didn't do much, although he has a double double, and Jay Carter has a double double, like you see everybody in the starting lineup, but he scored 10 points or more. Mikael Bridges, uh, 27 points, one steal, seven rebounds, three of nine from three. So he didn't did all that great from the three-point line, but eight of 15 from the field. So his mid-range shooting and, like, taking it in has been good. Drake, Jay Carter with 11 points, 10 rebounds. I had one steal. Uh, three of five from three, uh, four of eight from the field. DeAndre Aiden, 4 of 10 from the field, which was kind of bad for him, um, but managed to get 10 points, two blocks, three steals, 11 rebounds. Um, Devin Booker with 31, uh, six assists, five rebounds, seven to 12 from three. So he was, he was kind of unstoppable from three, uh, 12 of 25 from the field. Uh, Chris Paul was 10 to 20 from the field, three of five from three. So he didn't shoot much, but he managed to get 23 points, uh, one steal, eight assists. Um, and the funny thing is, it's like our bench did a little bit better than their bench. So I'm going to get it. There's something going on. It's like they couldn't stop them from like shooting threes or what was going on, but once again, the score was 118 to 108. Um, hopefully, either tomorrow night or Monday, I will do a video of talking about game three. So, hopefully, you know, they get it together on game three once they play in at home, and hopefully, they can win, win one in game three, and hopefully, they win it in game four as well. So, and plus, all week long, they really have to, you know, deal with half of the week when they hear in Milwaukee, like some of the ESPNs and stuff like that. But then again, first take wasn't like playing like all this week because they had like tennis going on. And, you know, everybody else ain't, you know, touring or anything like that, but ESPN. So interesting enough. Um, Oh, he's back. Okay. Um, so, like I said, hopefully the Bucks do better tomorrow since they're at home and they get, you know, a field day, you know, to rest or whatever. So, right now, Phoenix leading two games to none. So, hopefully, for Sunday and Wednesday, we tied the series. So hopefully that's going on and make it, you know, the season, well, this, the NBA finals interesting. So I don't know, first time either team was in the, or in the finals. So we'll just see how it goes. But um, like this, give it a like. Um, don't forget, um, try and get to 200 subscribers. And we're giving away a Brewers t-shirt and a Brewers mask when we get up to 200 subscribers and all you got to do is subscribe and comment on this video and other future videos. So the more you comment, the bigger, the better chance you get to win in the Brewers mask and the Brewers t-shirt. So like I said, we got more prizes to go well to come. Just make it interesting. So hopefully by, you know, at least, Mid-August, we can get to 200 subscribers.
So hopefully we can get there. Um, go Bucks go. And until the next video, and watch out for like other videos that I'm going to be posting within the next three to four days since I haven't been posting most of last week. So um, thanks for watching.